Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for joining us today for your word for the day. You know, as we look at us as individuals, we have so many different character traits that we have. Some of us are joyous, some of us are a little bit more melancholy, some of us are energetic, some of us enjoy naps, some of us are stubborn, some of us are movable and pliable to things. See, the stubbornness has been part of, of me ever since I was a kid. I have leaned into that sometimes to my own detriment. And, and maybe you resonate with that. Maybe you're more of a stubborn individual. You take a little bit more for your mind to be changed. It takes more for you to convince you to, to adapt to new situations or new environments or new perspectives. And there's a lot of negatives that come with stubbornness. But today as we look at 1 Corinthians 15, we're going to see a, a list of instructions. We looked at this yesterday and, and we'll continue tomorrow as well. But, but I want to highlight the, the middle instruction here in 1 Corinthians 15. It says this, it says, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of God, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. We're told to be immovable. And it's easy to look at that and be like, oh, so I should be stubborn, that we have this biblical permissive mandate here to be stubborn in our life. But it's a little different than that. See, we're told to be immovable. And when you look at, it, at the life of a Christian, you see all these moments where, where life and difficulties and even the, the temptation of Satan tries to push us away from the path that God has for us. He's always trying to pull or push or tug or coerce us away from the life that God's calling us to. And what are we receiving as instruction here? To be immovable, to, to be resolute in understanding that following Jesus is the path that we are to take. Even when we don't have all the answers, even when we don't understand what's going on in our situation, we need to say, I'm going to be immovable of staying right here where God has called me, where God wants me to be, because I know that in Christ, I have purpose, I have joy, I have meaning, and I'm going to lean into that. So today, I don't know what life is throwing your way. I don't know how you're being pushed and pulled and, and tugged in different directions, but if you find yourself in a situation that maybe especially is a little overwhelming, a little difficult, and you feel that tug away from where God's calling you, let me encourage you to be immovable. Be immovable in knowing that God is God. That be immovable in knowing that, that He has called you to follow Him. Be immovable in the fact that His Word is truth and that the greatest purpose we have in life is following Him. And be reminded of that last instruction as well. That as we do that, as we make that commitment to be immovable, to say, I'm not wandering away from this. I'm not going to, to, to let my circumstances take me off course. As you commit to being immovable, it says that you can be reminded that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. The effort it takes for you to stay immovable as life pushes and pulls, the more work it takes for you to stay in course, God's going to reward that. God's going to work in your life to bring about good from your labor of staying immovable in the path that he has for you. So hope that you stay the course today. I hope that you have a great day. We'll see you next time.